Hello, this is the video I would like to have seen when I first got into Audacity. First thing is, you've got to set up your device. Um, I've got a, a Samsung microphone, which I've got here. I've set the recording level here, 0.33, which um, seems a bit low, you might think. It won't clip, that's the key. And in fact, you can see by clicking on here, you can actually see the input levels. You know, it can get quite loud. So um, that stops it from clipping. So in order to record, once you set up your hardware, just press record and away you go. Key tip though is have a moment of silence that you record, pure silence. Don't breathe, don't do anything. It's important to record silence like that because it will enable you to do some noise reduction, which we'll come to in a minute. Next tip is oh Gordon Bennett you know I want to see everything you know what's going on here there's this lovely hotkey sequence and that's control F which is fit so that fits everything to the screen and control shift F right now we've only got one track and it means we can see the whole track in glorious sort of full screen uh, detail which can be really really useful so that's everything that we've recorded this is that careful bit of silence which um, if you listen to it sounds silent on to my next key trick select the whole track the very first thing you should do having done a recording is to use an effect called normalize normalize is about making sure that the volume level again I set it reasonably low so that if there are really loud bits it will not clip but this will make sure that the whole recording is as loud as it can sensibly be and just take the default values and there you go and you can see that's gone quite a lot louder and now because we've amplified it that silent bit you can actually see that, that that's not a completely thin line and in fact if we zoom in another useful thing is over here I don't know that there, there may be a key sequence for it but this is fit to just the selection and you can just see there's a little bit of a wiggly line going on there and this is where we get on to the next very very useful uh, tip and that is noise removal so go to effect noise removal get noise profile and so it's recording effectively in its memory what that you know noise is so that little squiggly line that we can see barely see admittedly and now if I just do it on that same selection you should see a little difference but we go into noise removal again and this time I prefer to use around 21 decibels but you you can adjust the sensitivity all these things I tend, the default I think is is higher than this but I, I use 21 and if I just do okay on that you'll see that that line has now got thin all right but I'm going to undo that with control Z and then uh, I'll do that control F control shift F thing because we want to see what we're doing select the whole track and then do the same effect and that's noise removal and I just click on OK and again you will see that that line there is now absolutely flat so that that's sort of got your basic recording nice and clean the silences sound more like silences now Woo! 